just another beautiful day on my pad. I wonder what we're going to do today. Um, I don't know, it does seem there's a little bit of dust on this. <sighs> what the heck? Where did these... I don't know, I guess they're here. Whatever. Let's do a top five video. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I hope you enjoyed that nice little intro. Um, but today we are doing a top five video, a top five video of one of the most controversial brands out there. You love them, you hate them, you feel indifferent about them. They're still one of the most widely uh, and world renowned uh, cardistry companies out there. It's Fontaine Cards, created by Zach Mueller. Um, I definitely really, really love this company. And I also don't like this company in some ways, but regardless, we are gonna do a top five video of my favorite decks that I own. Uh, obviously, I'd love to own all of the Fontaine series decks, but that would cost me hundreds of dollars to get the ones that I don't already own. Um, but I do hope to continue to grow my collection, grow my collection, excuse me, and um, uh, eventually get all of them uh, that are released. Uh, but anyway, that's about it. So without further ado, let's get in this video, guys. All right, everybody. So coming in hot at number one are the Fontaine Carrots uh, V3. I really, really like these cards. They're one of the first decks of Fontaines I ever received. One of the first five decks of Fontaines I ever purchased. Um, I actually don't think I've ever been gifted a deck of Fontaines. And that is a huge gift from someone if someone ever does want to uh, give me a deck of Fontaines. Um, obviously, I don't expect anyone to. But if you're ever feeling generous and you you want to donate a deck of fontaines for some reason because you have more let me know um i said every cardist ever but yeah um i really love the design of these cards the red and black are some of my favorite color combos on a deck of cards and they really pop um and they look really really nice for flourishes um i love the way they handle the stock is nice they're very soft i bought these from um uh, barrett card shop um i'll leave the link in uh, the description from him for him um, used. He only opened them once though, because they were pretty much brand new, um, when I got them. Well, I guess everything, everybody only opened them once, but I'm pretty sure he only handled them once, um, because they literally still feel brand new. Um, I guess that shows you how much I use these. I actually use these quite frequently. But yeah, really, really nice thin borders. Really love the d design of the deck. Um, anyway, without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, here we are. Numero dos. The Halloween Fontaines. The trick is to stay alive. Everyone's entitled to one good scare. These came out this year, um, and I or not this year, but this past year, 2020. Um, and I really like them. They're based off the movie Halloween. Um, not obviously to me when I first bought them, but this deck is really, really nice. Quite similar to the Fontaine Carrots in stock and feel. Um, but I feel like these are a little bit softer. Printed by USPCC. I like the nice like neon glow you get. Um, with the Fontaine logo, and they look really, really cool. Um, I really like also the way that these handle. They feel really, really good. Um, and they're great for packets, and they're nice and thin, um, so you don't feel like you're holding a brick in your hands when you handle these. Um, but yeah, they handle great. And if you guys want to pick some of these up for yourselves, I would highly recommend it. I actually don't remember who I bought these from. Um, but if I do, I will definitely link them down in the description, although I'm sure they don't actually... Uh, have them um because these sold out pretty fast uh, anyway that's gonna be all for this one let's go ahead and move on to number three already peeps number three i moved the camera up a little bit but it's all right number three the wine fontaines i picked these up from bam playing cards that was a horrible deck flip there we go um i paid a hefty price for these but they are definitely one of my favorite colors um in the Fontaine series, even though it is a recolor, I definitely really, really love these cards. They handle extremely well as the other two decks, but something about this deck really just makes it that much better for me. Um, and I really, really do enjoy playing with these cards. Um, if you're going to want to pick some of these up for yourself, they're probably going to run you over $30. Um, I paid over $30 for mine, but they're definitely well worth it. Um, in my opinion, some people don't want to pay that much for a deck of cards, and that's completely understandable. Um, but I really love them, and I really can't wait to film my... Oh, that was horrible. A solo vid, and these will probably be in it. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and move on to number two. All right, everyone. Number two. My number two deck of Fontaine cards that I own. 
the Aquaberries. Um, I really, really was super, this is probably the most hyped I've ever been for a Fontaine release besides the Futures was when these came out. I've really, really wanted to see a color similar to this. And when this came out, I was all over it. Um, the stock isn't the greatest, but um, it definitely feels pretty good. I believe they're printed by Dex and Taiwan um, on the same stock as the Echoes. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know. But these feel really good, actually, um, better than I remember. They handle really nicely. They're good for packet cuts. They're thicker than your normal Fontaines because they're printed by Dex as I drop those cards. Um, but I really, really like them. And they feel great. Let's do a nice little... Uh, Lego Love. I've been working on my Lego Love, so it should be a little better. Oh, goodness. I keep dropping cards everywhere. Um, but yeah, I really recommend you guys trying to get some of these. Um, these are a little more of the elusive Fontaines, and they will definitely cost you a pretty penny. Um, but definitely well worth it, um, the money spent. This is actually one of the only decks I've ever um, purchased from the Fontaine Cards web store. Um, but yeah, just a little piece of information about those. Really like this uh, this deck. And now moving on to number one. All right, guys. So I normally don't ever do this on camera um, for a video, but I figured I would. My favorite deck of Fontaine cards that I actually own are... It's actually a tie between the Rip and Nip B1s and um, the Fontaine Parrot edition. I always call these the peacocks and people make fun of me. <laughs> I call them the peacocks on accident. Um, but the Fontaine um, Rip and Dip V2s are actually one of my favorite decks. I really want the V1s. Unfortunately, they cost around $60 now, which is kind of absurd. But one of these days, if I ever feel like it, I might buy them. Um, but we're actually going to bust these bad boys open because, you know, use your cards. Thank you, Cure Gums. Um, Oh goodness, I dropped the camera again. I'm so sorry. Hold on, let me fix it. Oh goodness. <sighs> There's the patented smell. Thank the rice magic. All right, let's bust these bad boys open. Ooh, okay, so we get like the ice cream trucks. Cool Ace of Spades. I was wrong about you. <laughs> Look me until. Okay, okay, that's not appropriate. That's not appropriate. That's not appropriate. Come on, Fontaine. Family-friendly channel. Goodness gracious. Um, good night, mighty. All right, well, other than that, <laughs> let's take a look at these cards. All right, so they actually feel great. My goodness, and the thin borders, wow. I picked these up from Wounded Corner. He actually might still have some of these for a good price, as most of his decks are. Um, so if you guys are looking for some... Let's go ahead, uh, or not let's, but you guys can go ahead and check him out. I will leave the link to uh, his channel down in the description below, or his, not his channel. Um, he does have a channel, no, his, his web store, um, woundedcorner.com. These feel great. Um, brand new. I haven't busted open a new deck of Fontaines in a hot minute. Um, so these are actually pretty slippery, but as you can see me failing here. But let's go ahead and look at some of these cards real quick. All right, cool, cool. Some artwork, rip and dip. <laughs> okay, that's not family friendly either. Goodness. <laughs> okay, ice cream. Pretty cool, actually. Really, really nice. Must be nice. Really cool art. I like how they incorporated some artwork into just the normal cards. That gives it some pop. More unfamily friendly goodness. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, definitely a cool deck. Um, so that's why it's my favorite. I just knew these were going to be my favorite, and they are. Um, wow, yeah, no, these are amazing. If you guys want to see a full review on this deck or any of these decks, let me know down in the comments uh, below. I'm going to get these mini suggestions for videos, so definitely keep them rolling. I will try to keep them coming for you guys. Um, but yeah, really, really awesome, nice deck. Uh, and I can't wait to bust these in. Also, just like how thin the borders are. Like, that is really, really nice. And if you can see closely, they're actually the Rip and Dip Cat is all throughout the deck. Um, 
But yeah, really, really awesome. Nice designed. Catches the eye. Feels great. Anyway, that's gonna wrap this one up. So let's go ahead and do the outro. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching this video. This was my top five favorite decks from Fontaine. If you did enjoy this video, as always, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and leave a comment down below uh, telling me what I should do for my next video. I do do most of my suggestions. Um, that being said, obviously, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. I really appreciate it. I'm the Wooden Cardist, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out, y'all.